Hi guys, Keegan here with Champion Helmets. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Shark Vancor 2. What does this helmet offer you that other helmets might not? Let's find out. The Vancor 2 takes a lot of inspiration from some of Shark's other designs. You can see it's got the same shape as the helmets from the Drock series. And it also takes the goggles that we see on the original Drock and the Street Drock. However, this helmet does go for somewhat of a hybrid design, offering something that's sort of between a full face helmet and a jet helmet. But before we get down to the finer details, if you want to see any of our other dedicated reviews or our new road tests, head over to our YouTube page and look under the review and road test playlists. Now the first thing you'll notice on the Vancor 2 are goggles. This helmet obviously chooses to go with goggles instead of a traditional visor. And for the most part, I think these goggles do a pretty good job. They offer a wide range of view, they have an anti-scratch coating, and since they're double-paned, they should prevent any fog buildup. Now these goggles are connected to this elastic strap here, and that strap connects into the side of the helmet. Now this side of the strap has a quick release mechanism. Just pull that up, and then you can just push it off on the other side to easily remove the strap and the goggles from your helmet. Now the goggles are connected to the strap using this easy clasp system. So just push that up and pull it out. So it's easy to remove all of this from your helmet. The foam on the goggles is quite comfortable. It fits nicely against the face. You know, it, it feels like a nice tight fit. I do have some questions about its durability though. I do think that the glue that connects the foam to the goggles may start to wear off, especially if you're someone who likes to pull your goggles up and rest them on top of your helmet. Uh, also, obviously they can't create a, an airtight fit, so I do expect you might get some rain coming in through the seams of the goggles. You can't keep all that rain out, so I do think you will get some moisture when riding in the rain. The biggest downside, in my opinion, however, is that the goggles that come with this helmet do have a slight tint to them, meaning you cannot ride with those goggles at night. This does mean that if you do want to ride at night, you will have to purchase new goggles or a new lens directly from Shark, which is just another expense to think about. So now let's take a look at the shell. The shell of the Shark Vancor 2 is made of a thermoplastic and it comes in two shell sizes with a medium weighing in at about 1,370 grams with those goggles attached. Now the chin guard is made of that same thermoplastic and you can see on the side here that that's incorporated into the side of the helmet. Now while this will provide some protection in the event of a crash, it's not expected to be as safe as a more traditional full face helmet. So that is something to keep in mind. You are sacrificing a little bit of safety for this helmet as compared to a full face helmet. Now let's take a look at the ventilation and the noise isolation on this helmet. Now obviously without those goggles on, you're going to get plenty of air in through the front of the Vancor 2. But even with those goggles on, you will get some air in through the gaps between the goggles and the helmets. Just obviously not a ton of air. So it's not going to be as well ventilated as a traditional jet helmet. And this is especially true because you find no vents on this chin guard and no exhaust points, unfortunately, in the back of the helmet, which would have gone a long way towards making sure that air ventilates through the helmet more quickly. We do have a top vent that can be opened or closed as you please. It's quite easy to open and close and that will do a pretty good job of getting air into that helmet and through the ventilation system that we'll see in there later. As for noise isolation, it's not going to be great. It's not, you know, it's not a full face helmet. It's a little closer to being a jet helmet, but it will be better than a traditional jet helmet. So moving on to the helmet's interior, you'll see here on the inside that we have a ratchet strap. Some people have very strong opinions about this system. I don't really care either way, I could go ratchet or D-ring. Let's get that off. We'll find a liner that is removable, washable, and antibacterial. So we'll remove that liner right now. Let's get those cheek pads off. To get these off, you do sort of have to thread them through on either side. Awesome. 
You'll see fairly nice cushioning on these cheek pads. You know, they're nice and soft. They should feel good against your cheeks. Overall, not that bad. Let's get this liner out. Simply gonna pull that out there. And you'll see it snaps into the front here. Ooh, there we go. I like these snaps, they're easy to work with. So it's a, it's a nice easy liner to remove. All right, so we've got our liner there. You can see not a ton of padding, but it is pretty comfortable feeling. Uh, a nice bit of cushion, although could probably go with a little bit more. You can see on the inside there. And like I said, this is antibacterial, but you will obviously want to wash this you know, on a somewhat regular basis. Now moving more to the inside of the helmet, you'll see these deep ventilation channels in there. These will do a pretty good job of ventilating air coming in through that top air vent, although it could be a little better, like I said, with the addition of exhaust points on the back of the helmet. That would help the air get through there faster. Instead, it has to vent all the way down to the bottom of the helmet, as you can see. Also, you'll see we've got cutouts for our shark tooth communication system. Got one right in the back there for the system itself. And then underneath the cheek pads on either side, we've got cutouts for those speakers. Remember, if you are considering purchasing the Vancore 2, then head on over to our web shop at championhelmets.com and check out our product bundles for this helmet so you can get a discount on those clear lenses you'll need to ride at night. Overall, the Vancore 2 offers something that's a little bit of a hybrid between a jet helmet and a full face helmet. Offering ventilation that isn't quite as good as a jet helmet, and safety that isn't quite as good as a full face helmet. Making it a little bit of a jack of all trades, master of none. While it is unfortunate that they couldn't provide us with any exhaust points in the back of the helmet, and that the goggles that come with the helmet are slightly tinted, this may be the perfect helmet for someone who wants the best of both worlds and is willing to make a few trade-offs. Remember, if you do have any questions about this helmet, please make sure to leave those in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those for you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content. Once again, my name's Keegan, Champion Helmets, and I hope to see you again soon.